Top 5 Print on Demand Niche Research Episode 30. Let's go. Hi guys, welcome. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel where I teach you to make money online fast and easy. In today's video, we're going to continue with the Top 5 Print on Demand Niche Research of the Week. And before we get into that, I just want to quickly announce, as usual, we're going to be doing the awarding the giveaway at the end of this video. So, if you'd like to know who wants, stick around to the end. Before we begin on issues, I want to quickly mention that the Olympics is now currently going on, and it's a very huge niche, a very huge niche that we all have been waiting for. Um, people are already purchasing shirts I'm already getting some sales so if you haven't made some Olympic shirts you should do that as fast as possible but make sure not to use keywords like Olympics it's definitely trademark and that's the fastest way to get your account closed so avoid definitely avoid words like um, Olympics I've used words like Japan and words like Tokyo and um, I haven't got any rejection so definitely those words are safe but Olympics do not try it guys. It's not worth it. So I just want to quickly mention that and if you go to Google It's everywhere showing you that this niche is really huge um, If you still go to Google Trends, it's the same thing Olympic triathlon you scroll down again Mexico versus Japan Olympics so Olympics is everywhere and if you want to make um, Olympic design definitely make the designs in these niches basketball skiing archery all of them right here is on the olympic website olympics.com you can see all the names of the sports that you can make designs for so i just wanted to quickly mention that before I go into the niches of today so the first niche of today is this um cuban shirt sos cuba i don't know what that sos means so i discovered that uh, this shirt has been making quite a lot of sales there is seven sales without no reviews and you know i always tell you guys that once a shirt makes sales like this without no reviews it shows that the shirt is obviously trending as you can see right here overall trend is up and look at this yes i was a sharp fall so um i did some research it's actually in the spin spin market and i didn't know what these bullet points were so i copied it i took it to google translate and um, it said down with communism, no, no more repression, no more dictatorship, homeland, homeland and life. So it's an um, anti-communism shirt, anti-repression shirt. And um, it's doing quite well as usual. Overall trend is up. Price at $8.99. Over 37 sales, no reviews yet. I saw a bunch of other ones um, on Flying Research. By the way, if you want to check out Flying Research, there's a link in the description below. You can click it and use the code that is in the brackets below and you'll get a 20% discount. So I just wanted to make, just wanted to put that out there. And um, if you go to the bestsellers, you see a bunch of these shirts there. Uh, I This is just one of them that I picked just to um, demonstrate that this niche is actually selling. So that's it for... No, before we go over to the next niche, the keywords that you can use, Cuba, Dictadura, uh, this is the uh, Spain market, that's why all of these words are in Spanish, but this should definitely be Dictatorship also, and um, Cuba, Patri Vida, I don't know what this means, uh, Vida or Viva, Viva is life, Liberty, and um, political and all the like so those are the keywords that you can use and um, for the same brand this is it right here again um patri vida i don't know what that means let's take a look at it homeland and life oh that's what it means the homeland and life okay so um let's take a look if that word is trademarked so wait the flying research tool just go down to trademark search and um, homeland and life no records found guys so it's definitely not trademarked 
I don't know if the word, let's try it in uh, the Spanish word and see if that word is trademark. Uh, so I search for Patria, Patria y Vida. I'm not sure if I'm calling that correctly. So I searched for it and I found a match right here. Actually, they have been filed, but they have not been registered. That means that um, if you're uploading shirts to it, you'll definitely be getting some sales and you, your design will be accepted. But once these trademarks are registered, you definitely have some problems. So take that into account when you're making designs for t-shirts like this. Always check if it has been filed because even if it's filed, it can still be rejected. So it's a two-way game. It can either be rejected or it can be accepted. And if, you are, if it is rejected, you are safe. And if it is accepted, you are going to be in trouble. Your shirt design is going to be in trouble. So, but the word homeland and, li homeland and life, it's safe to use. Um, there were no results. Um, just to put it out there so you can have it at the back of your mind when you're making your design for this niche. So that was niche number one. Niche number two is um, Save the Chubby Unicorns. This is actually funny. It's the first time I'm hearing about Chubby Unicorns. Yeah, and Frank, they actually look like unicorns, you know, with a horn on their head. Yeah, and they are chubby too, so it's, a, it's an accurate description for this animal. All right, so it's priced £21.99, over 63 sales. I wonder for the one reviews is in. So let's take a look at the bullet points. It's in a German language. That's why I can't really understand what they are saying. So this is what I really I do if I'm not understanding the language. It says save the chubby unicorns designed with rhinoceros. Um, what I was actually looking for maybe is like a save the unicorns day or something, but it's not. It is a regular. Um, I was actually checking to see if the rhinoceros are. Um, endangered that's what I was searching for in the description but nothing related to endangered species or anything is just save the rhinoceros so save the chubby unicorns is actually funny with the ritual style and grunge if you want to make your designs and um, you want to add any extra th thing to it I really recommend the sunset as well as ritual so that's like the basics with a um, very huge text so anyone can see it from afar so this t-shirt is looking quite great price 21.99 over 63 sales 141 reviews and um, overall trend is up current trend is up the keywords you can use of course rhinoceros unicorns chubby um, chubby retro sunset and all it like all right from the same brand the same design in other products this looks like a hoodie and this looks like a regular maybe a long sleeve or so okay that was niche number two niche number three this is actually in the French marketplace it says um, la legende prend sa retraite 2021 that simply means the legend is taking his retirement 2021 so it's for those who retired in 2021 and um, live in France or understand French so but we can definitely change this to the English or change it to an English quote because it holds true this quote holds true for a retired person if you're retired in 2021 20, you're obviously a legend you're taking retirement so it's a great quote that is doing quite well over 43 sales no reviews yet and 17 99 well trend is up look at that folding your bsr you can use keywords like retirement work employee job and things like that 2021 look at this it just caught my eye that retro sunset again grunge so it has had a few sales um i just wanted to make a remark there and from the same brand the same thing just um without the france flag yeah this one had the france flag this one right here no france flag and if i want to make a design like this i'll depending on the marketplace i might not include the flag so i can enable it on more marketplaces but it, it's just depending on the design sometimes i even make the two designs and include the 
flax it just depends on what i'm making and um, i just wanted to give that extra tip there if you want to include your other marketplaces you might not want to include the flag like up here and um, if we if you made a design in english you can obviously upload it in a uk marketplace with no problem but if you have that flag there you have to change that flag to the uk flag so you guys get the gist all right so at third niche oh this is actually uh, still in a third niche is also a french Quote that has to do with retirement. It says, uh, "J'ai pris ma retraite, mais j'ai une nouvelle boss, ma femme." It simply means I have taken my retirement, or I am on retirement, but I have a new boss, my wife. So this is for the men who have gone on retirement and um, they have a new boss who is their wife. So it's a very funny shirt, and um, just text design, simple text design like this, and. Um, it's been doing quite well over eight reviews for the seven sales 16.99 price is 16.99 overall train is off current train is off and um look at that bsr it has been going up and down up and down up and down but it's approaching one as you guys can tell keywords you can use of course retirement men this is mostly for the men funny um wife and all the like so our next niche niche number four is this birthday design so if you guys watch my five niches of the week video videos you remember that i said something about birthday designs about changing the year so this is another design that is doing quite well and um, overall trend is up current trend is up as you can tell it's actually trending um it has sold over 21 times price at 16.99 and it's a simple text design vintage 1971 limited edition so this one features just the year the previous video i made i think it was one or two weeks back it was the year and the the year of birth and the person's year like take for example 1971 50 years on the design but this one is just 1971 and uh, this is limited edition okay so Look at the BSR, it has been going down and it's predicted to approach one. So it's actually selling right now. Keywords you can use is um, birthday, of course, 50 years. Um, you can also use this for your anniversary. It's not just for birthdays. You can use this for your anniversary. Maybe it's a 50 year anniversary. You can get a t shirt like this. So you can use keywords anniversary, birthday, um, 50 years, things like that, vintage. Our fifth niche for the day is people are poison. This is a very, very true statement and it's actually funny, but the text too is very, very weird. Why did the person have to put it in red? So it's actually um, kind of funny that the words are in red and um, the poison, anyway. Poison red, yeah, I think they go um, hand in hand. But the only problem I have with this design is that it's very small. I really don't know why the person will make the design this small, considering the fact that the designs can be made bigger so more people can see it. So I really don't know the reason why this design is so small. So if I were the one making the design, I would have made it very huge. The biggest it can be, the font, the biggest font size I can go, that's where Oh, that's how I'll make my design so that as a customer is scrolling through, they immediately the hugeness of my design will draw their attention. And in red again, it's gonna um, draw the attention of my customer. So I really don't know why this is very small, but people have been buying it um, and it's actually trending. And um, over 25 sales, no reviews yet, $16.99 and um, obviously anyone anyone who has been hurt by people will get this shirt like in a twinkle of an eye it will be sold so this is a very um nice niche to get into because it's actually trending right now as you can tell and the bsr look at that wow it just fell and fell and fell look at that it's really out one um keywords we can use grunge 
poison, antisocial, alone, things like that, words like that, I can use that. And uh, for the same brand, the same design. And if I were the one, I would have made this design on like with the red text and the white text. I like testing to see which design is the best because um, people might want this in white because red on black is a little bit hard to see, but white on black background is very, very legible. So I would, if I were the one, I would have made two designs, uh, one in the black background and one in the one in the black background with the white text and one with the black background and the red text and see which one gets more sales. If one gets more sales, then I'll enable it on more products. That's basically how I do it. So moving on to the second part of this video is releasing the name of the person who won our last week's giveaway. So I'm going to go back to our last video. I'm going to copy the text, take it to our YouTube comments picker and um, paste it here and get YouTube comments. So then scroll down and click start. Okay, congratulations to you GZ for he says another great video. Thank you, thank you for your comments, GD. Thanks for watching. Thanks to all of you guys who watch. I really appreciate it. Um, Gizzy, congratulations to you. Thanks for winning a last week's giveaway. If you'd like to win a next week's giveaway, guys, please just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment. It's very, very easy to enter, and you'll be chosen in our next giveaway using the YouTube comment picker. And um, GG to you, just come over to my channel, go over to the about page and grab my email address, send my email and uh, we're going to schedule a one-on-one -on -one call. And you can ask any question that you want to ask and um, it's a 30 minutes call, you can ask any question you want to ask. So guys, um, just to reiterate, um, the Olympics is a very huge niche. Um, we should be getting this niche as fast as possible if we have not uploaded designs make designs in all of these niches if you can and upload it to all the print on demand platforms so guys that's it for this video if you found it helpful please give it a thumbs up if you'd like to learn more about print on demand and kdp this is a channel for you hit the subscribe button turn on the bell notification so you'll be the first one to fight when i release a new video with that being said see you in the next one